Hello everyone, this is Jason. Like everybody who cares in, about the planet Earth and news, we've been paying, I've been paying attention to Syria, like everybody else. And so the reason we're in Syria has to do with natural gas and oil pipelines, Russia not wanting a certain gas and oil pipelines because they feed energy essentially to, to Europe. And they don't want Middle Eastern countries and other countries to basically usurp that um, and uh, take away billions of dollars of business from Russia. So Russia is aligning with Syria and has a vested interest in helping Syria. So Syria will keep out all these other pipelines. The United States, Saudi Arabia, um, uh, Israel, um, some other countries are involved in this. Middle Eastern countries around there, Qatar, other places that are involved ancillarily. They want a pipeline through there. This, of course, goes back to, if you're familiar with the Project for a New American Century, Syria was one of their countries in that document that was written in 2000, Rebuilding America's Defenses. Of course, people that were that signed off on the Project for a New American Century document eventually ended up in the State Department and Defense Department. Um, the term neoconservatism was born, etc. Uh, this, um, this is the plan. This is the foreign policy that our, um, I, I believe that it's our CIA and our military are essentially under. Now, I think the CIA and military have been going in it have been have different views different opinions and they have different policies as well does the state department you can see this with john Kerry and his relationship with russia compared to how obama treats russia it's very it's just a there's a lot going on it's very complex one of the people that's doing a great job is ava bartlett i think on the ground in syria she's been there five plus times she's interviewed people around aleppo she's interviewed people in aleppo she's interviewed the syrian people and my own personal experiences with people, I have friends, I have family members who know people that are from Syria, that are immigrants from Syria. And they say that everyone loves us, that people love Assad, of course, and that, it, that this isn't a civil war like they think it is. This is people coming into the country and trying to basically overthrow Assad and trying to cause disruption in the country. Now, this is this is well known. I mean, if you're if you're honest, this is what's been going on. America admitted that it helped the rebels. America admitted that it was that it's that it's helping the White Hats. Well, it was against the White Hats in September when they had a deal with with Russia to to eliminate these same the same enemy. Now America's all for this enemy. Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Democracy Now, all the Soros funded, you know, quote unquote, got people that are connected to the State Department that quote unquote left. Uh, seems to be changing their tone on Aleppo now and how that it's that in fact Russia and Syria and every these are te these are terrorists um, they're protecting terror they're they're eliminating rebels not terrorists these White House are no longer terrorists they're rebels and this is very deceptive and I'm stunned that the left media is getting away with this a lot of this has to do with people don't know what the fuck is going on there they're getting information from, if you don't believe Human Rights Watch, if you don't believe Amnesty International, what kind of a monster are you? If you don't believe the BBC, well, Ava Bartlett's saying, and I suggest you, you, I'll leave a link to a couple of her interviews. She's written a lot of stuff as well. She has a blog. You know, she's, she's reporting what's actually happening there. She's reporting on these white hats using multiple children in multiple locations to do videos, to show, you know, that are fake videos and we know from the pentagon this is nothing new that that goes on all the time because we know our own pentagon spent 500 million dollars on fake um terrorist videos in iraq i made a video about it it's on my channel so we know this happens all the time we spend billions of dollars on fake fake news and fake terrorist attack videos and so they did the same thing to try to convince the western media who's ever behind this and i believe that it's largely cia I think it's the CIA. I think it's it's the Project for New American Century crowd. I think they want regime uh, overthrow in in Syria, and they will use human rights violations, war criminal. The word war criminal is being thrown around like a two dollar whore, and it's amazing to me that so many people are so willing to throw the term war criminal out there that are speaking from countries that are war criminals, and then they'll they'll gladly say, well, you know, we're war criminals as well. Well, you know, the United States is a war criminal and all this too, and they were, but. The way they, they throw it out in Assad, people aren't, they don't con contextualize it. They just say war criminal. And Joe Q. Public hears war criminal. Assad's a war criminal. He's gots to go. And, or they hear this, this is a civil war and that Russia is in, being involved in a civil war in Syria and should have nothing to do. It's complete horseshit and nonsense. And nobody's a good guy in any of this. Nobody. Nobody's on the side of angels. This is about money and power and oil and geostrategic positioning. So I suggest everybody go look at Ava Bartlett. Who are you going to trust? Ava Bartlett or the mainstream media who lies to you 
uh, rather than just telling you the truth or never tells you or omits facts like telling you why we're in Syria. If you ask the average American why we're in Syria, they have no idea. They don't know anything about these oil and natural gas pipelines. They have no idea. They don't know what geostrategic positioning is. They think that Assad, they think that it's, see, the American media through the, through the CIA and the Pentagon have convinced us, have convinced the mainstream media, the people that are paying attention, that it's a civil war that Russia got involved with. And now that we, now we have to get involved with. And, and I'm going to leave you on this. L listening to Samantha Powers at the United Nations excoriate the United Nations, that Harvard piece of shit, that elitist piece of shit who wants regime change in Syria. So she's, how, do you, she, go watch Samantha Powers at the United Nations talking about, do you not have a Harvard? Do you not have half a heart? This is genocide. This is a this is the one of the worst situations that we've ever faced. This is Rwanda all over again. This is this is the worst thing that's ever happened. And you guys are the United Nations is not not declaring a no fly zone um, in Syria because that would mean um, you know blah, that would mean troops on the ground and the Syrian people Assad nobody wants that because then because if you once you start doing no fly zones ask Libya ask uh, ask Iraq ask Afghanistan when you start doing uh, you start doing no fly zones you ask for troops to come in. <laughs> So this whole thing in Syria is not a, it, it may, it may have been evolved into a civil war, but it was caused by people who came in from the country. Now, ISIS is not in, in Syria. There is no ISIS in Syria. Now, there are people that are, that are supposedly being funded and given guns from ISIS, but ISIS is not directly in Syria. It's, it's the Syrian uh, rebel army. It's the a few other groups al Nzara, Nzra and a few others that are on the ground in Syria so don't let the ISIS thing get confusing they're not in Syria um this is not the United States has no vested interest in freedom or peace or justice like Samantha Power said and maybe Samantha Powers thinks in those terms but she, I don't believe that she does you don't go to you don't become a professor at Harvard and not be a globalist new world order I hate that term but new shorthand new world order pro-military invention the america's on the side of right we must intervene the united nations must kill and bomb people and do regime change whenever the united states doesn't like what somebody's doing so who do you trust ava bartlett independent journalist or the lying mainstream media check her out uh thank you for listening and uh do your own research about syria